President, please be seated. The court is back in session. And the floor is given to the court prosecutor to resume the line of questioning. You may now proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, Council and the public. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Witness. This morning we talked about, uh, you talked about the creation of this long sword group that operated in your area. And you said that this group was established after the southwest zone came to Kangmias. You said that uh, these people operated with swords, they carried swords, and you didn't dare to approach them. And in your statement as well, you said that uh, you were very afraid of them. How many people were in the long sword group. Dans ce groupe aux épées, combien de personnes y avait-il? But answer regarding the members of the long sword group. Ce qui concerne I do not know how many of them within that uh, group. I, as I said, did not dare to approach them. The Mike, it's not on. Can you provide an approximate number of the people? Would it be 10, 50, 100, or do you just simply don't know? But answer. I do not know about réponse. the figure as I je told you. Chiffre, I did not dare to approach them. Sometimes I would uh, see de them Parfois walking voyais, in a group of two or three. De deux ou trois personnes. For the exact number of uh, the group, I do not know. Was the long sword group formed just to operate in your commune, in Pim Chikang commune, or was it formed to operate in the whole district of Kang Mias? Answer. On this point, I do not have the knowledge about the structure or operation of the, the group. Uh, all I could see at that time is that uh, they were carrying swords and walking around, and I do not know where they were going to at the time. Uh, you said you ate ate your meals in uh, communal dining halls. Is that right? During the, during the period after the southwest zone cadre arrived, around 1977, did you eat in communal dining halls for that whole two-year period? But by answer. For a period of uh, two years, I did not have any chances to have the cooked rice, but a grow. Pendant une période de deux ans, je n'ai pas eu la chance d'avoir du riz cuit. Je n'ai mangé que de la bouillie. I understand, but in your evidence, you said that you saw um, the large group of Cham people be taken to Wat or Trakon and taken inside the gates whilst you're in eating a meal at a dining hall, I believe. Did you have your gruel in a common eating area? 
Preniez-vous vos repas dans un réfectoire commun Answer. I ate my meal at that uh, kitchen for a period of two years. There was no other places. There were no other places that I was allowed to eat my meal, but in the kitchen. And was that kitchen for people that lived in Sambamir's village A? Somebody, yes. But the map Answer: Yes, that is true. The kitchen was created for some a village only. And did the long sword unit, or did some of their members, did they eat in that kitchen as well? Prenaient-ils également leur repas dans cette cuisine? Answer. I do not know where they went to have a meal. I ate my meal together with the workers in the cooperative. Um, you said in your statement that uh, the long sword unit was formed with people from the southwest zone and some base people. Do you know any of those base people that were in the long sword group? Answer. Members within the, the long sword group, uh, some of them Les membres au sein du groupe had been killed after the end of the regime. Because uh, the, some of these uh, members uh, arrested some people during the period later on after the end of the regime, they were arrested and killed by villagers. Was Tay Kim Hoi a person that you know? Est-ce une personne que vous connaissez Answer. I have never met him. Réponse. Je n'ai jamais rencontré. We were living in the same village. Village. Nous habitions dans le même dans le même village. Sorry, I mispronounced his name. Question. Tay Kim Hun. Was he living in the same village as you? No, we were not working together. No, nous ne travaillions pas ensemble. And did you know him during the democratic Kampuchea period? Bad squad. Answer. I started to know him in 1977 when he came to work in my cooperative. Was he in the, the long sword group? Question. Faisait-il partie du groupe des longues épées? Answer. Tai Kim Hoon. I have never seen him within the group of the Long Sword. I was afraid of that group. I only focus on my work, paddling the water wheel. Thank you. I'd like to um, read out uh, a portion of a statement from another witness, um, E319-19.3.93. At 01035843. And in fact, it's at answer number 15. This interview is um, numbered uh, with uh, 
with the answers. So if I can avoid the, the Khmer and French. This... <laughs> Excusez-moi. <laughs> Yes, please. I'm sorry. President, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Uh, you may now proceed, Counsel for Mr. Kyosun Pan. Oui, euh, Monsieur yes, le Président, sans rentrer dans les détails, j'objecte à l'utilisation de ce document qui, a priori, n'est pas un document qui est versé en preuve, qui est un document euh, qui fait l'objet actuellement d'une requête devant la Chambre. Euh, et donc, j'objecte vigoureusement à l'utilisation de ce document qui n'est pas un document versé au débat. Uh, Mr. President, I, I think it's uh, before the Chamber um, as to whether it's admitted or not. Um, obviously, Your Honours will deal with that in due course. Um, however, it's a document that's um, uh, on the case file. And um, the person in this document um, has uh, some relevant evidence which uh, can be put towards this witness, um, particularly in relation to the Long Sword Group and the Pagoda. And uh, I would ask, I think it's appropriate to have the opportunity to put that information before the witness to get him to comment on it. Whether you subsequently admit it or not is another question. We're not putting it forward. The purpose of the question is not as evidence, it's to actually see whether it refreshes the uh, witness's memory. President, you may not proceed, Judge Lavagna. Je n'ai pas eu le yes, temps de, de vérifier de quel document exactement il s'agissait, mais est-ce que is, par hasard exactly, il s'agirait du procès verbal d'audition d'un témoin que la Chambre a envisagé d'entendre uh, et qui a été également contesté uh, and uh, a witness uh, who is the object of dispute right now. Um, at the moment, uh, the Chamber hasn't got this witness on, uh, on their list, um, but we may be proposing uh, for that to happen. Et quand vous dites que le document est au dossier, vous signez dire par là qu'il a été rendu disponible au parti, mais est-ce que vous voulez dire que the parties, la Chambre a statué sur, son, sur sa recevabilité the, the ruled on its admissibility. It's, it's certainly being made available to the parties. As far as the ruling on the admissibility, I'm not sure whether it was in the, um, the batch of documents that uh, the, um, uh, the Q Sampan team believed wasn't uh, put before the chamber, but in fact, in fact was. But, so I'm unaware of the status of the document other than to say it's been disclosed and disclosed to uh, uh, the defense as well. Juste pour que ce soit parfaitement well, in order to make sure that everything is perfectly clear, so must we understand that you object uh, uh, to the use of this document, document, first of all, because it was not deemed admissible, and also because uh, it is uh, part of the objections that you raised in your previous submissions regarding the scope uh, uh, and uh, the obligations of the prosecution. It's indeed uh, for both of these reasons that we object to the use of this document. In fact, there's even a third reason, uh, because uh, today what the prosecution is telling us is uh, that as of the moment when the documents, as, uh, that the documents have been disclosed, dans le cadre d'un classeur auparavant, qui n'est pas fait de demande, de demande de versement en preuve devant la Chambre, que ces documents n'aient pas figuré sur les listes des partis auparavant, ça suffit pour qu'on puisse les utiliser devant la Chambre. Non, ce document ne fait pas partie des documents visagés par la Chambre, même dans le cadre du témoin pour lequel nous nous sommes objectés. Ce document ne fait pas partie d'une requête 87.4 qui aurait été déposée devant la Chambre. Ce document 
qui, encore une fois, document, uh, fait partie des documents is, of course, uh, dont la Chambre avait indiqué uh, lors d'une audience précédente qu'elle ne les considérait pas comme versés au dossier, mais were, simplement comme ayant été mis à la disposition des parties, ne fait certainement pas uh, partie des éléments de preuve que l'on peut so utiliser dans le cadre case, de ce procès 02 par 2. En tout cas, tant qu'il n'y a pas eu de décision de la Chambre à la fois sur notre requête et à la fois sur une éventuelle demande 87.4 que le procureur n'a pas encore formulé. Donc, à ces, tous ces titres-là, je demande que euh, le procureur ne soit pas autorisé à utiliser ce document. Can I just ask a question? I agree, obviously, with all you said, but um, the normal way is an 87.4 request, but we have actually had a practice for exceptional cases, some of them actually on requests from the defense teams um, to put documents before the chamber in cases where none of the other uh, parties objects. The normal thing is 87.4, very clear. No question, but as I said, on, on exceptional basis, we have allowed that. So my question is, what is the substantive, um, beside the procedural issue, What's the, what, if any, is the substantive objection against putting this document before the chamber in this informal and exceptional way? Je, je ne suis pas sûr sure d'avoir tout bien compris de la subtilité de votre question. C'est une question que vous m'adressez à moi, savoir quelle est le, la source de mon objection, c'est ça je, En français, je, je dois dire que je n'ai pas Voilà, ce que le, well, le tribunal voudrait savoir, c'est peut like quels sont les arguments de droit que vous pouvez présenter au soutien de l'objection que vous souhaitez rendre compte de l'utilisation ou du versement de ce document au débat. To, uh, je je, je n'ai bien cru comprendre document. que ces arguments sont that ceux these arguments qui figurent déjà dans la requête que vous avez précédemment déposée. Uh, uh, oui, found absolument. Et pour rebondir sur la partie que j'ai compris de Mme la juge Femmes, lorsqu'il y a eu des exceptions, c'est parce que les parties ne s'y opposaient pas. En l'occurrence, nous nous y opposons. Donc là, la circonstance exceptionnelle du défaut d'objection d'une des parties ne, ne se présente pas. Nous nous objectons à l'utilisation de ce document. My question was the basis, but you have answered that the basis is your written request. Yes. Your Honor, if I can, if I can just be brief, um, this, would, this will be the subject of a Rule 87.4 application. Um, if, I mean, I can make one application now that it be put before the Chamber, but it will be the subject uh, to a written 87.4 application. And as Your Honours may know, it's, it's a statement from uh, someone that uh, works at the uh, work at the Security Centre, at the Pagoda, and uh, he has some common topics uh, which he gives evidence on, which this uh, witness also does as well. And um, I would say that um, for a procedural um, issue to lose a unique substantial opportunity to put evidence before a witness um, is a greater cost uh, than the procedural point. Um, Mr. Mr. President, President would, um, uh, would you allow me to ask a question to the prosecution Monsieur and um, explain to me why it was that they were objecting last week to me using an excerpt um, in a Human Rights Watch report which was um, on the case file and uh, in respect of which a Rule 87 request was made by the accused of Ponte. What is the ex what's the difference between this document that you would like to discuss with the witness and the previous objection uh, last week? Mette Copé, si je peux intervenir. Je pense qu'on n'avez peut-être pas tout suivi, mais justement, le rapport du Man Watch a été déclaré irrecevable. Il n'est pas dossier. Je, je ne sais pas. Euh, et ce document non plus n'est pas au dossier à ce jour. Le document 
pour le moment de, que Monsieur le procureur, le, le coprocureur en tant qu'utilisé, a le même statut, à savoir des documents identifiés par euh, la Chambre comme ayant été communiqués au parti, mais n'a pas encore fait l'objet, ça je suis d'accord, d'une décision ni de rejet ni d'acceptation par la Chambre, mais en l'occurrence, il n'y a pas de décision d'acceptation non plus par la Chambre. Et, je ne sais pas si c'est un problème de traduction, mais j'ai cru entendre que euh, Monsieur le coprocureur nous disait qu'il fallait euh, ignorer la procédure parce que euh, ce, serait tellement, euh, ce document serait tellement important. Je ne comprends pas comment dans euh, une enceinte judiciaire, dans un procès criminel, encore une fois, dans lequel nous avons eu euh, une instruction dans laquelle messieurs les coprocureurs étaient présents, qui avaient tout loisir euh, d'entendre un certain nombre de témoins auparavant, comment aujourd'hui on vient nous dire qu'il faut ignorer la procédure. Non, je vous demande de ne pas ignorer la procédure. Vous avez encore une fois une requête pendante devant vous, qui est extrêmement importante pour la défense. Vous avez des, euh, 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 des éléments de principe par rapport euh, au euh, droit des accusés et euh, au fait qu'on ne doit pas sortir ex nihilo euh, tout, euh, à, 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 tout, à tout moment euh, des, des éléments de procédure qui viennent encore une fois d'une autre procédure et d'une investigation et d'une instruction en cours. Dans ces conditions, je demande encore une fois de rejeter euh, la demande de M. le coprocureur. The objection by the by counsel for Mr. Q. Sompon is sustained in relation to the document E319-19.3.93. The reason of the reason of the chamber is that the court prosecutor has not submitted the request to present this document in accordance with internal rule 87.3 and 4. Secondly, this document is within the list of documents objected by counsel for Mr. Kiel Sampon and uh, the uh, request uh, uh, by counsel for Mr. Kiel Sampon is now pending before the chamber. President, regarding Regarding uh, the documents uh, which are admitted by the chamber, qui ont été admis uh, these documents are allowed to use before the chamber, and for Ces documents documents which are filed devant la in time in the interface, uh, those documents can be used sont aussi des documents qui peuvent être utilisés before the chamber on chambre. some occasions. So parties uh, have to be uh, clear on the, the, the documents to be presented uh, before the chamber. Parties are required to submit the request to present documents in accordance with internal rule 87.3 and 4 uh, as soon as the, the chamber allow and admit those documents, parties uh, can present those documents. Um, Thank, thank you, Mr. President.
Mr. Witness, in relation to uh, the Long Sword Group, um, is it the case that prior to 1977, the only the only uh, combatant units in the commune were uh, the sub-district uh, militia. There were only militia men uh, who were discharging their function within the commune. There were no uh, long sort of group. And you were one of those militia men prior to the long sort group coming, is that correct? Des longues épées. Answer. That is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Uh, witness, you talked about um, the arrest and detention Monsieur of the Chams at Wat Otrakon Pagoda, coming from Satsar village. Are there any other villages that you were aware of in the Democratic Campuchia period where other Cham families were arrested? But the answer regarding this point, I have no knowledge of it. It. I only Je knew that the Cham people sujet. from Satso were arrested. I'd like to put to you um, a statement from a Question. from a person that's provided some Vous evidence, and this person was from the Long Sword a... Group. And, he, and the document is E. Sorry. Uh, actually, Your Honours, I'll, I'll retract that, that um, statement because that document uh, is before the Chamber now. In, in your commune, in, uh, particularly in your village that you lived, Samboamias village A, were there any charms living in that village? Answer. No, no charm people were living in Samboamias. A village. Uh, Cham people were living a. only in Les some in Satso village. Satso. And about how many Cham Question. were living in that village? village? Answer: Many of them were living in the entire village. I cannot tell you the figure, exact figure of Cham people there. And before these Cham were arrested and taken to the pagoda, were they allowed to practice their religion? Answer. While I was living together with Cham people in Saxo village, Cham people were allowed to worship and practice their religion once in a while. However, in regard to the uh, food, I do not know whether there was any prohibition of any food. Do you know why the Cham were taken to from your village 
or Satsar village were taken to the pagoda. Point, I had already left the village when the Cham people were arrested. I have no idea because I had already left the village. Why, why were you uh, removed? Or why did you uh, move from being a militia man to working in the cooperative? Why did that happen? But the answer. I do not know the reason. I was removed into a cooperative. Although I was a member of militia group, I was assigned to raise and take care of si cattle. Did you do anything wrong to be moved from that position? Qui a entraîné votre réaffectation? Answer. I do not know, Je ne sir. I was told to go and work in a cooperative, and I have no idea whether I had made any Et mistake at the time. Si Who was the uh, commander of your militia group? Who was the commander of your militia group whilst you were in it? Nam and E uh, were in charge at the time. E However, later on, they were taken away and killed. And how many were in your militia group? There were 12 members uh, in a group, including uh, some Cham men. And who were, who were Nam and Yai? Who were they killed by? Qui Do you know? Nam et I. Qui les a tués? I did not know about that. Je ne le savais pas. We heard that they were taken away and killed, but for whatever reasons, uh, we did not know. You mentioned earlier that the southwest zone cadre came to your area. Do you believe that they were killed by the southwest zone cadre or someone else? Le président. President, Mr. Witness, please wait and Councilor Copper, Witt, you have the floor. Um, I object, Mr. President. Um, Je question, what Monsieur the witness believes is irrelevant. Ce uh, que pense le only things that he knows or has seen, Ce que uh, asking what he believes, is asking for speculation. I object, therefore. I object, therefore. I object, therefore. I object, Did you know whether they were killed by the cadre of the southwest zone? Savez-vous s'ils ont été tués par les cadres de la zone du sud-ouest? Yes, uh, they were killed oui. by the southwest Ils cadres after their arrival. And how did you know that? Et comment l'avez-vous su? Because they were there before the arrival of the Southwest, and they simply disappeared after they arrived. And 
when they um, disappeared, um, did you become the head of the commune militia? Et quand ils ont disparu, avez-vous avez pris la tête de la milice de commune? I had been reassigned uh, to the cooperative and I had nothing to do with, uh, with that, with the arrest. Um, no, I'm not saying you organized their arrest. I'm saying once they were taken away, um, did you become the head of the group or how did, how did you become to not be in the militia anymore. Comment cela s'est-il produit que vous ne faisiez plus partie de la milice? Please uh, repeat your question. Le témoin peut y répéter la question. When they were taken away, who led Après, your militia group, qui, when your two leaders are gone, groupe, deux miliciens, après que les deux chefs étaient retirés. Réponse. It was the uh, Southwest group who actually uh, made the appointment of uh, those uh, people from qui the ground up. A nommé ces gens. And who was appointed to your group? Et qui a été nommé à votre groupe? As I said, I was not aware of uh, this affair. I had been reassigned. Mr. President, um, I think Your Honour had granted 40 minutes, so that would be till 10 past 2. I would ask for an extra 10 minutes because of that uh, uh, quite a lengthy uh, discussion about the, um, about the document that was proposed to being used. Sur l'objection relative au document qui avait été proposé. President, yes, uh, the chamber grants you uh, the extra time. Du président plutôt. Oui, vous avez droit à du temps supplémentaire. What was the name of the person that reassigned you? Comment s'appelait la personne qui vous a affecté ou réaffecté? Réponse. I was never officially assigned as a member affecté of the uh, militia group. Comme and de la later on, after I uh, was reassigned to the cooperative, I did not know anything at all involving the militia. Après cela, une fois que la coopérative, je ne savais plus rien de cette question. No, I understand that, but who je comprends. reassigned you qui vous a once the other two were taken away? Après que les deux autres étaient retirés. Actually, uh, they were there oui, ils étaient là before I was reassigned que to the cooperative. Dans la cooperative. So, can you answer the Qu question, please? Who reassigned you Qui to go to the cooperative? It was Comrade Nam and Comrade E camarades Nam who I assigned me to live and work at the cooperative. Dans la cooperative. And did they give you any reason? I did not know the reason for the reassignment. Je I was reassigned, pas. so I Je went. Que en and I Donc did not ask le... for any reason for the reassignment. 
Um, I'd now like to put to you a, a statement from uh, a witness, E3-5252, at 00235516 in the English. And in the French 0026-9890 and the Khmer 0023-5021. And this witness has said this about you. When did Moy become the chief? And uh, I Prosecutor, please hold on. I noticed that the defense uh, counsel for Kills and Pony is on her feet. Uh, you may proceed, counsel. Uh, oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Ce n'est pas une objection. Yes, je you, je prie, President. Monsieur le Procureur, de m'excuser de cette interruption, simplement pour indiquer que l'auteur de cette déclaration a déjà déposé devant la Chambre publiquement et que je pense que en toute équité à l'égard du témoin, on peut donner le nom de cette personne pour qu'il sache qui a dit quoi. Um, witness, um, do you know a person by the name of Seng Srun? Connaissez-vous un nom, quelqu'un du nom de Seng Srun? Matt, you're Matt Scalding. Yes, I do. Réponse, oui, je le connais. And how did you know him in the Democratic Campuchia period? Et comment avez-vous connu l'époque du Campuchia démocratique? Le quart ne connaît pas moi. He lived in the same uh, village. Il dans le même village que moi. Thank you. He was asked the question, on lui a, on lui a when did Moy become the chief of the sub-district militia? De la and he answered, he was the chief since 1973 until the end of the Pol Pot regime, regime in 1979. Why was the chief he of the sub-district? Nam was the chief Nam of the sub-district security, and Moy was Et the Moy chief of the sub-district militia. Des de la the security office was located in Damnax Bay, but was later moved to Sambor Mirska village. Sambor Can you comment on that? Thank you uh, for your question. Merci pour cette question. At that time, I was a member of the uh, militia group, just an ordinary member. However, I was no longer there uh, in 1973. He uh, was chief of the uh, militia group, and whenever we were required to uh, join any combat, then we would be called. And I myself never stayed at the uh, commune, moi -même, je été and that's dans between 73 to 75. And by 75, 75 all members were uh, called to to call to gather together in light of the uh, preparation for the attack. And I, as I said from Et the outset, I was actually equipped with a bow and arrow to guard uh, the village. And I did not have any position at all at the commune level from 1973. I was simply a member of the militia group, and whenever we were called to prepare for the combat or to guard the village, then I would be called. And I actually lived uh, with him from late 76 to, uh, through 1977. And he also stated um, in his testimony that you, uh, you and or your men arrested him 
and took him to the Damnak Snay, a security officer. Did that occur? Thank you for your question. No, I was non. not involved in the arrest. Je pas à cette arrestation. And as I said, I was a, a low rank member of the militia group. Uh, yes, he was arrested at that time. He was re educated and allowed to return. I did not involve in neither the arrest nor his release. I'd like to read, well, firstly, the question is after, after 1975, when the Khmer Rouge took control of Phnom Penh, did arrests start occurring in your commune, in your sub district, as soon as the Khmer Rouge took power of Cambodia, took control of Phnom Penh in April 1975. The President, witness, please wait. And Councillor Copper, you have the floor. Um, in all fairness to the witness, I think that's a difficult question because the area that he was living in was liberated already quite uh, substantially earlier than April 75. Um, he might be more familiar with um, Kampong Cham, the city, but I don't think um, the liberation of Phnom Penh would be any meaningful date to this witness in terms of where he was living. Perhaps, I'll well, just ask a, 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 in a different way, um, do you know when uh, Phnom Penh was taken by the Khmer Rouge, Rouge at the beginning of the Democratic Kampuchea period. Au de la Do you know what year that happened in? Savez-vous en quelle année cela s'est produit? It was in 1975. After the Khmer Rouge took uh, control of Phnom Penh, um, did arrests start to occur or increase in your area? Arrests of people in the area. I was a witness who lived uh, through the regime, and I want to clarify the matter. People were evacuated from Phnom Penh in 1975, and in my area, they were taken through all the courts. Dans mon uh, parcours, uh, dans mon parcours, ils ont été I was there. Uh, pagode, courts, and in 1975, and in 1975, and in 1975, and in 1975, and Study sessions uh, and then they disappeared. Then I knew in my heart that Et they were taken away and killed. Été pour être tué. Je I en actually was living amongst those uh, moi, Cambodian people who were evacuated from Phnom Penh. I lived with a family whose wife was uh, delivering the baby and I actually had her at the time. And of course, I knew the killing started in 1975 in my area. And who was, Question. who was doing the killing in your area? Et qui procéder à des exécutions dans votre région. I did not know who uh, did it, Je ne savais pas qui and fait. I knew that uh, those people were told that they were sent uh, for study sessions, they were walked away and disappeared. And as I said, I knew in my heart that they were taken away and killed. Au fond de moi -même and later été on, those uh, people were sons to live in various uh, villages et within ensuite, the commune. Uh, he referred to the different uh, villages in the commune. Je parle uh, ici, bien sûr, des gens de Phnom And Question. what about any of the ethnic groups, like the Chan? Uh, were they moved to other areas or were they arrested in that early period from 1975? Endroits, on, before the Long Sword, début, before the Southwest Zone enfin, came to the area? 
avant l'arrivée du groupe des longues épées. Réponse. J'en ai déjà parlé. I lived in 1976 du groupe des uh, the only de soldiers in the area were the um, sub-district militia. Présents étaient les miliciens de la commune. So was it the sub-district militia that was involved in the killing of the arrests and that were occurring from 1975 aux qui ont eu lieu de 75 until the long sword group du groupe arrived? Aux longs épées. Regarding the commune militia group, starting from 1975, they did not involve in the arrest. It was the security forces who managed the arrest. In the commune, as Saint Sun testified. The person would not be alive if that happened uh, under the arrest of uh, this group. But uh, at that time, he was sent uh, for re-education and release. And I was uh, the one who actually uh, transported food uh, to him. And later on, he was released. And he was living in the cooperative that I was. Thank you, Your Honour. I have no further questions. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai plus de questions. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci, Monsieur le Président. President, the Litco lawyers for the party. Do you have any questions for this witness? If not, then the Chamber hands the floor to the defence team. First to the defence team for Nunji. And you may proceed, Counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, let me start with um, following up um, what it, the prosecution just asked you in relation to uh, Seng Srun. Um, prosecution read an excerpt from witness Seng Srun's statement um, implicating you. Um, is it your testimony that um, Seng Srun, when it comes to you, has not been telling the truth? Selon vous, Seng Srun n'a pas dit la vérité. Ou du, plutôt, que Seng Srun n'a pas dit la vérité à votre sujet. Réponse. Yes, he wanted to oui. actually tell the court about his arrest. En fait, il voulait parler. And au, I was the one who actually gave him food while he was au there. Au tribunal de son arrestation, et moi, je lui ai donné de la nourriture. Um, why is it, uh, if you know, um, that he is -vous saying things about you which you say aren't il true? Il dit à votre sujet des choses qui sont fausses, selon vous. Allow me to respond to your question. Permettez-moi de répondre à votre question. As I have uh, testified, I was a low-rank member of the militia group, and I did not involved in his arrest. I did not have any role in. in I did not play any role in that, and I actually was the one who gave him food, moi, and for that reason, he survived uh, today. Um, he also testified um, yesterday that uh, his house was about 
uh, 200 meters away from Wat Otrakun. Um, you, this morning, also said that your house was about 200 meters away from the pagoda. Um, were you practically neighbors to each other? Yes, yeah, Saint Ron uh, oui. house was about 200 meters through the west Saint of the pagoda, and my house was ma about 200 meters to the east of the pagoda. That is, of course, also possible. Um, do you know oui, um, what Saint Ron's job was uh, le, between? La, la the beginning of 77 and the end of 79. What, what was his daily business? He uh, did not have any role. He uh, was simply post. living in the cooperative. Uh, was he a member of a unit of um, palm tree climbers. Réponse. I uh, lived uh, with him, but I did not know with the Saint Sron was assigned to climb palm trees, although we lived in the same cooperative. Même si nous vivions dans la même cooperative. I was assigned to plow the, the rice fields. And when we uh, went out to work in the fields, of course, all of us uh, went out uh, to work in the fields, but I did not pay particular att attention to any assignment, even to any uh, particular individual. And that was the case for Saint Srun. I did not know uh, that he was assigned to climb palm trees. Did you ever see him up in a uh, palm tree? But Réponse. during the regime, if you were assigned uh, to do any particular task, uh, you had to do it. Tâche, uh, in the case of Saint Strun, if he was assigned to climb si palm trees, even if he didn't know how to climb, he had to try uh, to si climb. Otherwise, his right, his life essayer. would be at risk. Sinon, il un risque de do you know um, whether he? ever received an instruction or an order uh, to guard and accompany a large group of Cham who had been arrested? No, he uh, did not involved non. in the arrest of the Cham non, people, to my knowledge. Cham, we, the civilians, did not have anything Nous, to do with the Cham people. Um, well, yesterday he claimed uh, in his testimony yeah, that he was very uh, instrumental um, in the collection and accompanying of a large group of Cham who had just been arrested. As a matter of fact, he was even saying he brought them to the, to the, to the entrance of the pagoda and even went inside the pagoda in the temple. Is that an accurate statement of, of him? Le President, witness, please hold on, and the Monsieur international le deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Mr. Uh, President, perhaps I mean it's a it's a leading question. Um, La question est uh, I, I think the evidence clearly is not that he was instrumental Et in uh, taking the cham to the pagoda. 
I think that's very misleading. Um, and so perhaps I would ask that um, council quote um, more accurately uh, so that this witness is not misled. Bon uh, it's no doubt um, my English, but I think English instrumental was instrumental um, a fair summary of um, his testimony. However, uh, no problem, I will read, Mr. President, the excerpt um, from his statement. Um, Mr. Witness, I will read to you um, a small excerpt from um, um, the testimony of Seng Srun in relation to what he said he had done. Um, sorry, that's document E3-5302, uh, English 0021. 0488 uh, Khmer 0063 uh, 1765 uh, and French 0062 3191 quote I was asked to lead 200 to 300 cham and walk them to the O to the old Takun temple Female Cham people were just walked. Cham men were handcuffed and beaten. I was one of the two people leading the group. There were another two people guarding the back. The four of us were palm tree climbers. When we arrived at the temple, security guards and executioners were there to take the Cham people. The person who told me to gather the charm was Hoon, who was my unit chief. Uh, no, I think that's fairly instrumental. Um, um, but Mr. Witness, did, um, do you know whether um, uh, Seng Srun was involved? You want to just for the record? Um, President, uh, please uh, hold on, Mr. Witness and the co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Your Honor, this is not, not an objection as, as such, but for the record, uh, counsel said that um, that was the testimony he gave yesterday. That wasn't his testimony, that was a, a statement that was given a, a number of years ago, just, just for the record. Well, I, I think I said it was his uh, interview to prosecution. I did say that. I, I, I mentioned also E3 number, so uh, there's no mistake, I think, as to where this particular evidence is coming from. So again, um, Mr. Witness, um, um, Seng Srun is giving evidence as to his role uh, in um, the, the, the walking, company and gathering of Cham who were led to the executioners at Otra Kun Temple. Based on your knowledge, um, based on your time in the same village and in the commune, is that um, an accurate statement of his activities? Please hold on, Mr. Witness. You may not proceed. International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Uh, Your Honour, this is a different objection um, in relation to the fairness of the question. This, this witness um, has given testimony that uh, he actually uh, wasn't in a really a position to see who was actually rounding up the Cham people that were taken to the pagoda. Um, and so asking him now to um, say whether that's a correct statement, I don't think that's a, that's a fair question. Um, Mr. President, I understand that um, prosecution tries to protect Mr. Seng Shroom. However, this is not an ordinary villager. This is someone who was part of the Tuyum militia, someone who was clearly um, clearly knew what was going on. So to this particular witness, I think uh, this is a question he should be able to answer. Your Honor, this is a question in relation to a particular event which the, this witness has testified to, not to his knowledge of uh, Seng Sron, uh, generally.
the objection by the international deputy co-prosecutor to the last question put by counsel is overruled. Mr. Witness, you are instructed to respond to the question put to you by counsel, and if you cannot recall it, you may ask the counsel to repeat it. And also, counsel, please simplify your question so that witness can give you, you know, uh, clear answers. Mr. Witness, would you like me to repeat the question, or are you still, do you still remember it? That's on so long, then. Witness, yes. Are you, could you repeat it? I just read an excerpt uh, from um, Seng Strun's statement. And based upon your knowledge and your position uh, within the community militia, I would like you to give a reaction. So I will read it again, and then I will ask your reaction. So this is what Seng Strun said. I was asked to lead 200 to 300 cham and walk them to the Wat O Trakun temple. Female cham were just walked. The cham men were handcuffed and beaten. I, Seng Strun, was one of the two people leading the group. There were another two people guarding the back. The four of us were palm tree climbers. When we arrived at the temple, security guards and executioners were there to take the Cham people. The person who told me to gather the Cham was Hood, who was my unit chief. So, Mr. Witness, this is Seng Strun's statement. Based on your uh, knowledge, uh, of the time and the period, uh, I would like to give you. I would like to ask you to give a reaction, please. Sorry, I would like to answer the question. I have told the chamber already that after I had been uh, reassigned into a cooperative, Cham people were arrested. Let me clarify. The arrest of Cham people were seen by me from afar and placed in the pagoda of Old Kuan. I was seeing Cham people uh, were being walked uh, past uh, the kitchen, and I, did, I do not know whether Saint Suruna was tasked uh, with a leading Cham people who had been arrested. Have you ever heard later uh, that Saint Suruna was involved in um, leading this group of Cham to the temple, to Wat Otrakun. Answer. Since I was reassigned to another place, I do not know what was going on. I was working hard in the cooperative. As I told you, I could see young people were being walked uh, from afar, and uh, I do not know about the statement of uh, Saint Srun. Um, Saint Srun has been speaking um, yesterday quite a bit about a person with the name of Moon. Does the name Moon in relation to Wat Otra Kun mean anything to you? Answer. Moon, the contemptible Moon, he was within the, the security unit. His original birthplace was uh, within Piem Knong. Uh, now I understand there might have been two moons. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, 
Answer. I only know one moon, the security guard. I do not know whether there was another moon. Do you know whether this moon, the security guard, um, was also a palm tree climber? I'm sorry. No, he his he was only working in the guard unit. He never worked in base area. How do you know for sure that Moon wasn't also a palm tree climber? Answer. I could vouch for that he was not uh, the members of the palm climbing unit. He was uh, working within security force. Do you know whether Moon, the contemptible Moon, was a very close and good friend of Seng Su? Answer. I have no idea about that point. Saying Suno was uh, living and working together with me in the village. Uh, the contemptible moon regarding this person, I have never stayed uh, close to him because he was uh, vicious and he would uh, take uh, people to be killed. President. Thank you, Council. Thank you, Mr. Winnet. It is now time for a short break. The Chamber will take a short break from now until 3 o'clock. Court officers, in collaboration with Vesu, please find a proper room for this witness during the break time and please invite him and his duty counsel back into the courtroom at 3 o'clock. The court is now in recess.